Daryl Marshall, um, 39, December 8, 2012, 613 New Lots Avenue, Brooklyn, New York, Youth United Community Centers. Relationship to Mrs. Vales is um, assisting her in her gardens, giving her a hand in her gardens. My name is Lillian Vales, A73. Our relation to Daryl is he helps me. He's my main man <laughs> in the garden. He helps me a lot with the garden. Mm-hmm. So we, there were stores, mm-hmm. but we had a big farm. A big farm, okay. So mm-hmm. we, we had everything there. Mm. It, maybe they had to go. In the wintertime, we ran out of food. They would go to the... Oh, at to that the time, store okay. and buy mm. what they needed, but we had mm. corn, mm. beans, peas. Yeah. Um, we just had it. Yeah. A farm is nutritious stuff. It's yeah, not yeah, yeah. sweet potatoes. Mm. Uh, we, there's a thing with rutabagas. We oh, wow. used to, okay. and we used to keep them all year round. Mm. We would take them. My grandmother would take them and like bank them, mm. and. We would get as mu- whenever we needed them, mm. we would go and get them. Oh yeah, Just sweet yeah. potatoes too. We had the big, uh, high thing of sweet potatoes, okay. <laughs> and we had them until the next yeah. season. Wow. You know. So so when so when you came, hit, you know, up to to yeah. New York, right? Did you miss the farm or did you miss gardening? Um, I missed it, mm-hmm. but. I I I really missed it because mm. when you know I started putting little growing things in the pot, mm. and I still miss it. You know the yeah. big, but since we have what we have here now, is yeah. I don't I don't miss it as you much. <laughs> yeah. Did people really believe that while in New York, like you would have a, a chance to to better your life in New York? It was a thing that the older ones mm-hmm. would say you know we were living on the farm mm. and they would say it's better you maybe you know they were i felt they were doing better in here than mm. just still working on the farm because mm. it was a share crop a share crop share cropping yes. and and um so mm. we came everybody came here mm. and we followed so as we mm. one sent for the other one mm. they come they get a job they got a job so they would wow. get them a job so huh. i got your job you're coming yeah i'm coming mm. Yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. That you know that was very powerful. When you, I mean, a lot of things. And just sitting here is powerful talking to you. But mm-hmm. that word sharecropper. Yeah. When when, when so oh when, yes. when you think of that yes. word, how how does that make that you feel now? When you think um, of sharecropper. I you know, me as growing up on the farm, mm-hmm. I explains it to my children mm-hmm. from time to time, okay. especially the, even the, the great grands, the old, the grands, mm-hmm. and I say to them. This is where I came from. Okay. Mm. And you don't know when I when I when you have a job, you mm. go and get a job. Mm. You work. You don't know what it's like. <laughs> I worked <laughs> in the south. Yeah, I yeah, came yeah. here when I was 17. And when I we bought the house and we had backyard. Mm. And we had pretty white roses. Mm. <laughs> and my husband fell in love with them. Yeah. So he comes home with time to plant. I had dug up the roses, mm. and he says to me, honey, uh, what happened to the rose bush? Mm. I said, baby, we can't eat roses. <laughs> <laughs> this is not the first garden mm. that, that I've been oh, no? involved. Okay. Wow. Uh, the garden of with, with the uh, Dorsha Street, where Dorsha, you turn, okay. mm. there was a garden there, mm. and the name of it was uh, Jordan Perry. Magic Garden. Mm. That garden was named after my grandson. Oh wow! My grandson got hit by a car. Oh boy! In in the street, right there in the street. Wow! Wow! And there was a lot there. Mm. So you know, pa- uh, Papa Joe. Yeah. He said, "Lil, I want to get that garden." So I said, "Okay." So hmm. me and two of my kids, they were about that high, mm. <laughs> and, w- and we were at the Green Thumb, mm. and we filled did the. And got the lease for that. So that Green particular. Thumb meaning the the city yeah. owned mm-hmm. agency the city that mm-hmm. gives out Yeah, the lease for the, the lot. lease for gardens and mm-hmm. lots. And they oh. gave that to us and we work. It was none but rocks and mm-hmm. bricks and 
Mm-hmm. It was just a mess. Yeah. And me and the little kids, mm-hmm. mostly the little kids. Oh, yeah. Always the kids. Always the kids, right? There were some adults, mm-hmm. but me and the little kids got out there and we pulled rocks and we moved rocks and we did that. Mm-hmm. And we had that particular garden. Mm-hmm. So this was just neighbors mm-hmm. doing this. Neighbors, neighborly mm-hmm. kids th- who yeah. were doing this. Not but necessarily city agencies or anything. Mostly, right. Mm-hmm. There was an agency. Mostly it was my children. Okay. Children. And mm-hmm. then if... Then my children always got their little friends. And oh, then yeah? <laughs> on they, oh, Miss Vales, can we come and help? So then mm-hmm. in the summertime, when there were jobs, mm-hmm. uh, the summer youth, summer youth, of course. we used to, mm-hmm. they, we, I would have them because mm-hmm. I had summer youth. I sponsored them. Oh. Where I'm at now, I really feel good yeah. with that garden mm-hmm. because in, it, made, it made so much food. Mm-hmm. It makes a lot of it makes food. makes a lot of food. And it gives people things mm-hmm. to do. Mm-hmm. It it brings a sense of how would you say it mm-hmm. to a neighborhood. You mm-hmm. know, let people know you can you can make food. You make don't food. have to be hungry. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you can you don't have to be bored. You don't have to be upset. You don't mm-hmm. have to be all of this. When you <laughs> just go sit in the garden, just go get out <laughs> of your house. You don't have to be these things. Go out, mm. sweep in front of yeah. your neighbor's house. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so the garden serves as many purposes. It right? does. Yeah, it yeah, does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And 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 mm. to go into the gardens mm-hmm. and make mm. see it grow. Mm-hmm. It really makes it. It 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 just it's a feeling that you oh would yeah. not. You you a lot of people don't do it because they just feel oh I gotta if I go there I gotta work. <laughs> I mean you can go there and take one little plant and yeah. put it into the ground mm. and when it grows it f- you feel good. You feel good. I think East New York Farms is a big blessing to East mm. New York mm. because it, it does a lot mm. and the greatest thing that 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 really makes me feel so good, mm. but more than the food mm. is to seeing the kids work. Wow. They got a job. Hmm. And to see them not complaining. <laughs> they yeah. they they come, they sing, you know, they laugh, they joke, they're happy. Mm-hmm. And that means a lot. Mm-hmm. I feel like the community should give the children mm-hmm. much more than they're giving them. Hmm. This East New York should ha- we as a city, mm-hmm. big as we are, should have much more here in East New York mm-hmm. for our children, for our youth. Mm. Our senior citizen, mm. and for people, hardworking people, people who work, even for those who don't work, mm. because you know why those that don't work, they have to live too. Yeah. And yeah. if it don't help them live, mm. you got a disaster on your hand. Because if I used to always explain it to my husband, mm. he said, "Honey, they don't work, they don't get nothing. You're not going <laughs> to give them my food." I said, mm. "You know." I'm going to explain something to you. We can sit here with all this food and what we have. Mm. And those out there that don't have and hungry mm. and whatnot, if we ever got that way, one day they're going to come and take it from us. Wow. So you <laughs> have to help. Yeah. You have to give food. Mm. Make sure there's food. Make sure there's the basis what people need to live. I would like to be remembered as... That person, lady, or whatever you, they would like to call me, mm-hmm. that did all that she could do <laughs> and gave as much as she had to wow. give. <laughs> and with no regrets. With no regrets. <laughs> I have no regrets. If I gave somebody my piece of bread mm-hmm. to eat, I have no regrets about yeah. it. That's because God always gives it back. <laughs> And I always tell the kids, I used to tell my husband, Mm. honey, great is my reward in Mm. heaven, (laughs) not here on earth. Yeah. 